Let's give you one little extra piece of information with regards to constructors and overloaded constructors. In the last video, we had shown you that we could make this overloaded constructor by passing in information. And when I passed in this information, you'll notice that I called the variables license plate, the exact same spell in as license plate, position, position, speed, speed. Now, since I called them the same name, we quickly touched upon the way you can distinguish the two is these variables can also be referred to as this dot license plate. This car that you're creating, its license plate variable, well, that's that, right? This car's position, this car's speed. And then you set them equal to the variables passed in. That license plate, that position, and that speed. Now, just to show you, you don't have to call them the same name, I'll just do the speed one, just to show you an example here. I could have just said, whatever they give me is the third value here, so string, integer, integer. Take that last value, and I'm just going to make it variable s. You can choose any name you want there, and all you'd have to change is change that to this.speed equals s, right? The variable that they passed in when they did this right here. So that's the 30. Now, why would you want to do it? In reality, I wouldn't bother doing it because now in the documentation of your class, it just says S. It was much better when it said speed because that's what it was. You were passing in the speed. Um, the only real advantage is you don't need the word this anymore because since it's not the same word, speed, there's no confusion. That's speed, that's speed. So it knows that that's the only speed on this entire page inside the class, right? So you don't need the word this. But for this course, I would just get used to actually leaving it the way we had it and doing that and doing that. Okay, but just want to show you, because technically if you read anybody's code, you might notice that the variable names are not the same and that they do this slightly differently. You should just be aware that it's totally fine not to name them the exact same spelling. And that's really it about that video. See you in the next one.